Why do people hate on Richard Stallman? Now, there could be various reasons, but I will be looking at a few specific ones that I think are important and noteworthy. So, I will get straight to the point. I'm not going to give any introductions beyond what I've said thus far. So, Richard Stallman is of course someone who started the GNU operating system with the intent to free computer users to liberate cyberspace. So, Richard Stallman is a man driven by uh, an ethical code and he has very much achieved quite a lot. He has basically started a movement, a free, so the, the free software movement, and he has, in, to, to a large extent, succeeded quite well on what he started to do. So, what is there to dislike about a man like that? There are people who genuinely dislike Richard Stallman for some reason. When I look at a, some, someone who fights for freedom and has basically dedicated their life to that, it's basically his life's work, and they have done a really good job at it. What is there to dislike about someone like that? Now, of course, the way I see it is that there has to be a component of uh, the sort of nonsense in modern society where people look badly at someone who is who has like look, see here's the thing in today's world in the modern societies here in the some 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 parts of the western world at least right there are it is seen as cringe to have any sort of a moral code or holding oneself to any standards basically there are plenty of these people who believe in like like here's the thing societally even like it's a really widespread belief that like there is this sort of a conception of like moral relativism where people don't believe in any sort of like uh, good or evil in that they also say that good and evil are subjective or something like that then is it any surprise that in a society like this someone who has a very firm belief in their moral views and actually lives by these standards that they have set for themselves Richard Stallman doesn't use any proprietary software he's basically a dedicated man who has a life's work and he has achieved a lot and he actually lives by his standard of the moral code that he has. So, is it any surprise that people dislike someone like him in a society where people tear down statues of great men of the past? Uh, you, can, you can see this phenomenon of these people tearing down these random statues of these great men of the past because basically there's this envy and jealousy in the society for that sort of thing and it's it's ridiculous that people do that sort of thing basically it is seen as a negative thing to try, try to be it is seen as a negative thing if someone is perceived to try to be better than others and if you're trying to be better than yourself like you're try, trying to better yourself to be better excel at something have a life's work and hold yourself to standards and have a firm ethical code that is seen as a negative thing in a society in in in, the, in these societies of today and i find that ridiculous and it, it there has to be a component like that in people disliking Reza Stallman the way I see it because now no, I could be wrong because I don't know what people are thinking but the, 
I, I, when I see these in the society these beliefs of moral relativism and all that nonsense, it just strikes me as very similar to disliking someone who dedicates their life to, to, to basically fighting for freedom. I think it's very admirable and someone like Richard Stallman should be like a role model to look, look up to for people. But instead he is widely disliked for whatever reason. Now then, but now then people might bring up some random things like how they think his character is really weird. He, like, like he's just a weird person, right? He he behaves in some weird ways and he, he something whatever. But to then say that like that somehow invalidates anything that he has done, him fighting for freedom and all that because he has a weird personality and then you dislike him because of that. I think that's just stupid because like really who cares? Why should it be any of of any importance what some random guirky thing he does? Why should that be of any importance? Next to his life's work on fighting for freedom. Now, of course, if you don't believe in the cause of freedom and you dislike Richard Stallman for fighting for a cause that you despise, well, that's very unfortunate. But of course, there are people out there who like to be prisoners. I will play you a clip of what Richard Stallman said about on, on, on Steve Jobs and regarding fans of Apple. Steve Jobs figured out how to build computers that were prisons, jails for the user, and how to make them stylish and chic. Which so makes that him a you, genius. Which well, does make him it a made genius. him an yes. evil genius. Yes. He did harm to the world because he convinced people to rush to stores saying, put the handcuffs on me, please. And that is extremely harmful. Mm -hmm. That's what we fight against. So that was the clip. Now, of course, people like that will find Richard Stallman's views on freedom intolerable because they have been basically made into mindless drones that just go around buying Apple products because Apple is like I don't know what is it with these people, but it's it's like a cult. They they just worship these Apple products, so they like their Apple products for the prison that they are. They basically choose that because they like it. So of course these sorts of simps for this sort of abuse will of course find someone who attacks basically the practices of these sorts of companies like Apple it, it, like they will find it intolerable because they, they identify with these brands, these companies that, and their products basically these Apple users they, they, they see Apple as being a part of their identity so when Richard Stallman says that Apple does wrong then basically these people Interpret, interpret that as Richard Stallman attacking them and their person because they identify with the Apple, with Apple. So of course these sorts of people, well they, they're just mindless drones. They are morons. They are stupid. They will, they will hate on Richard Stallman. Of course that's understandable. <laughs> yes, that's understandable because those be those people are beyond any help. Maybe. Anyway, for people like that, it's there's very little that can be done about that sort of thing. No amount of freedom will convince them to dislike Apple because they see Apple as part of their person. But it is fascinating how 
people of good moral character, such as Richard Stallman, who fight for freedom, are seen as a bad thing. But it, but it really doesn't surprise me in a society like this, where any sort of uh, strive for excellence is seen as a bad thing. Where trying to do anything, having any sort of standards, is a bad thing. Of course, to have these sorts of mindless drones, Apple fans, in the same society is to be expected, really. Because that's just the sort of state that humans live in these days, in these societies. And it's ridiculous. Now, I will also touch on the more recent things where people talk about the... Uh, what was it? The Jeffrey Epstein nonsense and MIT's involvement in that and whatever Richard Stallman said about it. Uh, I don't personally know much about that issue. But the fact is, people have been hating on Richard Stallman far sooner, far before that, that situation. And also, none of that nullifies his life's work anyway, because, well, even if for the sake of our argument we assumed that Richard Stallman was in the wrong and whatever he said was bad, okay, so for the sake of the argument, let's assume that he, that that's the case. Now, if you look at that, Richard Stallman said something on some mailing list, on some random ca case and whatever, he just said something, he had a weird opinion. That, next to his life work, he has basically started a free software movement, he has built a new operating system, of course with help of other people, but like he started it, he has basically fought for freedom all these years, and now supposedly all of that is not important anymore, and you should absolutely hate Richard Stallman because he has a weird opinion on some random issue that has nothing to do with anything so software related. And it's just a random opinion. It's not like he did anything wrong anyway. Like, uh, what what little I know of that uh, Jeffrey Epstein nonsense, which is very little, but as far as I'm aware, Richard Thurman wasn't caught with doing anything wrong in that way himself, right? Richard Thurman, all he did was he posted some random nonsense or some random opinion. It was basically just this random opinion some, on some random issue. It's not like he did anything wrong. It's, it's not like he was involved in that nonsense that was going on, the the, the situation, and like with the where the people were like caught doing all this uh, morally representative stuff, perhaps, maybe. But, but anyway, regardless of what was going on there, it, it's not like Richard Stallman himself was doing any of that. He just had a random opinion. So now he, so if you're supposed to like. Is that supposed to be sufficient justification to hate Richard Stallman and basically invalidate all of his life's work because he posted a random opinion on some random issue? Now, I say that's nonsense. Like, that's absolute nonsense. That is bullcrap. That is stupid. It is absurd because it is just a random opinion on a random issue that has nothing to do with anything. And he didn't do anything himself, it's just an opinion. So, to hate him because of that, that's stupid. It doesn't invalidate any of his life's work. So that's just stupid. So, yeah, I wanted to mention that, because that's a controversy that has taken place more recently. But overall, because that's just an insignificant thing, that pales in comparison to his life's work. It's next to nothing, just a random opinion on some random issue. And also, like, here's the thing. Even if, for the sake of argument, we again assume that his opinion is wrong and all that. Who cares about some one random imperfection in his character? Uh, see, the thing is, people aren't perfect. 
uh, generally, like, it is, it, it is a pretty widely accepted belief that, like, no one is perfect, and I also agree with that. So, why should we expect perfection anyway? Why should a person be uh, banned from his own foundation because he has a random or weird opinion on some issue? Like, seriously, think about it. Richard Stallman was... He, he was fired, or whatever, pressured to leave. I don't know how that went specifically. But anyway, he had to leave his own foundation, the Free Software Foundation, because of that random comment. What on earth is going on there? Like, it's, it's a random opinion. He didn't do anything. So, people really have to dislike him for other reasons to have him fired from his own foundation. Because, like, no sane person looks at that random opinion and then says that, okay, Richard Stallman is just evil and he should be erased of face of earth because he's, he's, he's a bad person and all that. No, 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 no. No sane person looks at it like that. So there has to be another reason to ban Richard Stallman. And that was just used as an excuse. It was just used as an excuse to ban him from the foundation. Really, the people dislike him from other, for other reasons. So yeah, that's that's also something. But yeah, about expecting perfection from people. A person who has achieved a lot on their life, they have dedicated their life for their life's work and fought for freedom and all that. Like, those are admirable things. And they are not nullified by a few random comments <coughs> comments on some random issues. Like, that's just stupid. If someone achieves something, that is something to look up to, and it will remain as such. And it doesn't... You don't... You don't just... You don't expect perfection. That, like, he will... He, Risa Stolp will never make a mistake, again, assuming that all that I said before, for the case of... For the, for the sake of the argument, you don't expect perfection and then basically destroy someone's career because he makes one small mistake. Like, like these people are trying to tear him apart. And that's stupid. And there's all this cancel culture and all that nonsense that, of course, has its... Uh, shows its ugly face here. <coughs> so, like, like these, are, these are wider societal issues that have a presence here and Richard Stallman unfortunately just became yet another victim of this mass delusion that is going on in the societies uh, in, in the western world or whatever, I don't know, who, who cares what I call it the fact is that these sorts of bizarre views that are going on in like the, the whole the whole psychological behavior of these people so like it's just all over the place people have become so stupid and they 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 have basically abandoned all critical thinking and any sort of standards like I've talked about like it is genuinely a, like a big problem like people says People, people, have, people have gone crazy. They have lost any sense of reality. Like, they, they have completely lost their minds. So, so yeah, that's that's like, I, I think like that has to have like a, that's that's like a part of the, at least like a big part of the reason why people dislike Richard Stallman because like. Well, he has many of those sorts of many of the traits, characteristics that are frowned upon in a, in the modern Western society. They, they many many of such qualities describe him. But come on, they kicked the man out of his own foundation, 
Richard Stallman is the Free Software Foundation. We live, a, we really do live in a clown world, when this sort of thing is even allowed to happen. Like these people have no honor, like they they have they have no conception of what that even means. Like like we really live we live in this sort of a bizarre clown world. Like it's, I don't even know what sort of words should I use to describe and or how to explain it, but like, everything is just so wrong, like, ay ay ay, like, how does this happen? Yes, yeah, yeah. well, maybe that's enough of that. Yeah.